Hello and welcome. This short video is to assist childcare providers in utilizing the Child Care Resource and Referral Database to update their program information. In February 2022, Child Care Resource and Referral implemented a new database called NDS 2.0. This database allows you, the provider, to log in and update your program's vacancies and other information. By keeping your program's information updated, you help us to provide valuable data to your community and to the state of Iowa. Additionally, this program helps us connect parents looking for childcare to the available vacancies within your program. Let's get started. Your program should have received an email from NDS 2.0 powered by Work Life Systems. This will contain a link to get you started to log in. If you're logging in at another time or do not receive the email, you can go to the webpage stage.worklifesystems.com backslash program backslash 48. This will bring you to a login screen. On this login screen, you can go ahead and log in using your email address and password. If you do not know your password, you can go ahead and request a password and a new password will be sent to you. All licensed programs already have an account um, in our database, so you don't need to create an account. Um, simply request a new password and so that you can get logged in. Once you are logged in, it will open up to an update data tab. At the top of the screen, you can see your region's resource and referral contact information. If you have any questions about this database or any other questions, you can reach out to the contact information um, for your region. On the update data tab, there are several different areas of information. The first section, contact information, has your business name, your name and phone number, address, email, um, your website, all the basic information for contacting you or your program. On the next section is credentials. Under credentials, you'll find several things about your license, about accreditation, and the languages that are spoken in your program. The third section, our schedule, allows you to list the hours that your program is open, as well as other specifics about your program. For instance, do you accept full-time and part-time care? Um, are you open on holidays or maybe when days or school is not in session? Please click, click those that are applied to your program. In the next section, program data by age, you can give your rates um, for each age group in your program. Um, and this can be done whether you charge hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. The next chart shows your desired capacity and your full-time and part-time openings. Again, this is in order by age, and so you can add the desired capacity or any openings you have for each age group. You can also list the care, um, the ages that you care for in your program. You can list your total desired capacity and total openings, which may not add up to exactly to the program openings by age above. Um, please make sure to change this date for, so that we know that your openings are as of the date that you're um, indicating. If you see any gray boxes, such as the license capacity in the program, they're grayed out and unable to be changed by the program. If you see a gray box that you would believe should be changed, please contact your local CCRNR um, consultant or the data specialist. Some additional information on this section um, includes fee information and financial assistance that your program um, offers or accepts. The next section about our program has a section, has a um, data field that allows you to enter about your program. Um, you can type in what curriculum you use, um, what might be interesting to parents, the, the activities that you offer, um, anything that you believe is important about your program can go into this short um, description. You can also indicate some um, things about your environment, whether you participate in CACFP, and whether you provide transportation. If you provide transportation, additional transportation information may be listed if, if you have given that to child care resource and referral in the past. As you notice, this box cannot be edited um, by the program. But again, if you have any information that needs updated um, in the grayed out boxes, please contact your local child care resource referral so that information can be correct for parents. And then the last section in this section allows you to indicate whether you have any training or experience with special needs and some specifics about 
um, your training and experience. When you make a change to a section, um, when you're finished with all of the sections, um, after making all of your changes, you can click the save button over on the right side. Once you save, it will ask you if you're sure. Um, you can only save once for each sign-in session, because um, once you save, you'll be prompted um, that you have already have updates in review. And when those updates are approved by Child Care Resource and Referral, you will be able to update your data again. We will be um, accepting those changes on a daily basis during business days. The next tab is pictures. This is a great way to showcase your program and allow parents to see what you're about. You can add one, one picture or several pictures. Um, perhaps it's the front of their building or a group of children playing on the playground, something that makes your program stand out um, and markets it to parents or to other community members. The next section is your profile. This profile is what is viewed by parents when they um, log in or receive a parent referral specialist or parent referral from our parent referral specialist. This shows the information that you have saved in your program um, and is one of the reasons that you should keep your program's information updated so that parents receive accurate information um, from the system. The fourth tab is consumer education, and this allows you to click into the child care resource and referral website to gather more information, um, including resources, forms, um, and other information. The next tab is referral counts. This shows when your program um, was shared through either printed or emailed um, through the referral uh, specialist or on the parent referral database. The last tab is documents. This is where you can upload documents that to share with child care resource and referral. Once you are done, you can go ahead and log out of your account. Um, what the information and the updates will be saved. And this will again help us share your data or share the data with the community and the state and as well as Make sure that parents receive information about your program and other programs that have vacancies and are able to accept their children. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with all of your childcare endeavors. Thank you.